everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring you some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts if you want to upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Niantic has launched the Mudkip Community Day Classic ticket in the in-game store for $1 or equal equivalent, which will gain you access to the special research for this upcoming Community Day on Sunday from 2 to 5 local time. And speaking of Community Days, Niantic has also announced meetups in all parts of the world, including the United States, Europe, Middle East, and Africa, as well as Latin America. As of this recording, no meetup locations have been announced for the Asian Pacific regions, but there will also be pokey stops that you can spin throughout the United States, Canada, Europe, the Middle East and Africa, as well as in Latin America, and lastly, yeah, yeah and, and in all Asian Pacific region countries, including Japan, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Malaysia, and Singapore, just to name a few. In other Pokemon news, also announced is... Details for Safari Zone in Seville, Spain. And of course, Pokemon that will be shiny during the event include Solrock, Miltank, Tauros, Dino, Pikachu, and you'll also be able to catch Oracle. And it's Flamingo dancing form. And of course, this also marks the debut of Corpish getting its shiny form. Which of course, eventually, we'll all be able to get Corpish outside of this Safari Zone event. Which of course, the details... The details so far, besides the following po Pokemon I mentioned that, that will be available and spawning in the wild and as shinies, you'll also be able to get Ekans, Machop, Geodude, Ponyta, Mareep, Mistrevious, Skarmory, Houndour, Roselia, Perugly, T-Pig, Litleo, they will all be available as shinies. Unknown E will not be available as a shiny, and neither will Deerling Springform nor Oracorco. Now, tickets for Safari Zone in Seville cost both 21 euros and 26 euros, which of course, the ticket that costs 26 euros will grant you early access to all the bonuses that Safari Zone has to offer. Whereas the $21 ticket, yeah, I meant to say 21 euro ticket is the general mission ticket. And this event will not be global. So, so if you're hoping to get a shiny Corpish, as I mentioned, you're gonna have to wait until this becomes available to everyone. If you're hoping the shiny hunt corpus and of course there will be a springtime event in the game which means Togepi with the flower crown will be back but you'll also be able to evolve Togepi with the flower crown into Togetic or be able to catch one in the wild and you can also evolve Togetic into Togekiss and 
funnel be into Lopany and of course Togetic, Togekiss, and Lopany with flower crowns will be available as shinies for this set event. And this event will also mark the debut of Tapabalu, the third island identity from Alola, which will be here in Pokemon Go for two weeks. The event bonuses includes two times hatch candy, one times hatch distance, two times lucky egg duration, and rocket grunts will have more shadow whisper and execute in their parties. And there will be a limited, there will also be limited research tasks involving execute, where you'll be able to get one as a shiny if you are lucky. And of course, you'll also be able to evolve execute into a lowland executor. And you'll be able to cheat shit the move Drago Meteor, which was originally the move that you evolved Dragonair into Dragonite on Dratini Community Day back in 2018. The following Pokemon that will be available in the wild and also to catch as shinies are Bulbasaur, Oddish, Paras, Bellsprout, Tangela, Chikorita, Sunkern, Trico, and Sea Dot. And there will also be a Go Battle League day, which is entitled Beginner's Paradise. And there will also be a special research that relates to the island that Tapabalu is the identity of. In addition to the limited research day Pokemon encounters, You'll also be able to, to encounter the other Pokemon during this event in the wild. Like Pikachu with the Flower Crown will be back. So will Eevee. And, and of course them. As well as Beninary. Along with Nidoran, male and female, Jigglypuff, Whisper, and Bunnelby will also be available as shinies. Same thing with Chansey with a flower crown. And you'll be able to hatch Pichu with a flower crown, Igglybuff, Azuril, Munchlax, Happiny with a flower crown, Togepi with a flower crown, Execute, Chingling, and Raleo. Which of course, Pichu, Igglybuff, Azuril, Happiny, Togepi, Execute, and Raleo will, will be the ones available as Shinies. Munchlax and Chingling will not be available as Shinies as Niantic has yet to release their Shiny forms into the game. And of course, I already mentioned Tapabalu will be the, the, the raid boss for this event. And of course, field research tasks include Pikachu, Eevee, Benidori with Flower Crown, and same thing with Chansey. And there will be a collection challenge also included in this, not to mention new stickers. One more thing, this weekend I'll be live streaming on Twitch over at twitch.tv slash blueadventures Hopefully, I'll be able to finish Need for Speed High Stakes on Saturday. Because I've been having problems with my computer lately. And lastly, I will be streaming Mudkip Community Day Classic this Sunday. Once I finish wrapping up filming the video for Mudkip Community Day Classic for this channel. And I also forgot to say, last week... If you notice why I'm filming in a different style, it's because I got a new iPhone, and it's an iPhone 13, and I'm filming this and all future videos in cinematic mode, which will make it look more authentic, and 
My Mersona Merman Adventure Filling now also has its own Twitter handle, which is twitter.com slash Philly Merman. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and TikTok. Remember, it's time!